hi friends in this tutorial i will explain how to create uh, this connection now we are create this connection uh, from a tecla structure uh, it is a bolted connection and normally we are using two side one bolt but it is exceptional uh, it has used a two side two bolt use now we are create same connection in tecla structure now we are go to tecla structure now we are see this uh, column and adapter we are using this column and adapter before uh, we are create we are create column and adapter and all connection uh, create before another video and now we are create this connection in tecla structure now we are firstly create this adapter and two side adapter it is a tapper adapter and column now we are create a first column now go to our uh, tecla structure and we are see our uh, grid um, uh, grid uh, 5 and we are create a, uh, along the grid e create a column now we are uh, we are using we are uh, before we are create this column now we are copy this column now we are remove all connection and all changing things now we are move we are not create this uh, anchor bolt but we are uh, some modify this column now we are go to our autocad file and see our column uh, section now we are go to our column layout now we are see 424 8 12 and 250 now you know we are create this 424 12 and 8 250 now we are change this column section now we are create this column and we are uh, change position now we are move this column we are see this uh, we are centering this column and now we are create rafter tapper rafter now we are copy copying this rafter uh, all connection will plate thickness will be uh, 24 now we are offset uh, already and now we are move this rafter now we are change this profile this rafter now we are see our rafter section 6 9 0 8 9 0 10 12 225 now we are change this six nine zero two eight nine zero ten twelve two twenty five modify Ten twenty. We change modify. Now we are extend this column. Now we are. We are see our AutoCAD file. Uh, this half of for after length 2900 and other 2900 other tapered section now we are get the seg segment same splice same slice 
now we are move this for as our requirement now we are copy now we are change this profile it will be reverse it very easy and we are change this portion and we are change we are change this angle now we are move this select and right and now we are move this column now we are create a end plate uh, it will be manually now we are create a beam first point and second point now we are see this beam but we are change our profile now we are typing and and plate and plate and change this profile uh, plate now now we are 300 and it will be 30 mm as our requirement now single part EP assembly not need now we are see this now some modify now we are change now we are see our expected end plate now we are go to our AutoCAD file and detail connection detail now we are go to our Function detail and you we are see this detail portion and uh, that using 30 mm plate and using uh, 30 mm high strength bolt bar nose and we are seeing two side two nose extended extended bolt actually it will be not a, a regular use this shape connection uh, so i can uh, make this tutorial actually uh, using one side or two side one bolt now we create this two bolt now we are go to tecla file and two side and uh, uh, we are see uh, when you are using 30 mm high strain bolt now it will be gauge 120 and we are follow this requirement it will be minimum so minimum distance uh, for apply this and now we are extend to side move and to 120 120 uh, to side uh, for this uh, edge and other distance we'll, we are uh, calculate this now we are uh, extend 250 to side now move okay now you are create this but we cannot be a properly po properly connected this portion now we are move this now we are Now we are get construction line for better performance. Now we are move easily move this. Now it is an error. Now we are change this. It will be this portion perfectly using. Now we are copy. now we are using nut and bolt in this plate now we are go to steel and create a bolt 
first part and second part now you can using this center portion now use this now we are select 30 mm mm and it will be in distance and uh, get 120 now we are typing 130 and uh, we will add this bolt as our requirement and now we are typing this 120 and 125 and 120 and we are using this now we are see our expected bolt nut and bolt and now we are create a stiffener it will we are create a stiffener manually 250 now 250 and create now we are name stiffener Now we are create this done. Now we are go to 3D and we are clearly observe this all things. Now our bolts and other stiffener will be perfectly perfectly set up now we are uh, some modify this cut part now we are go to section now we are this cut this uh, this column now select this column and create this and click this column will be cut but uh, cannot cut rafter now we are cut this rafter properly now we are go to polygon cut and select this and right button click and then select you can see now we are cut part off or see you can see this now we can here another apply this it will be cut now we are create a stiffener now we are going to stiffener you can see this is stiffener now we are using along this column flange now we are using construction now we are apply this uh, or select this Now I get this stiffener and it will be height but uh, is a, we are welding so it cannot be properly applied. Now we are break this.
properly install this portion now we are copy sorry now we are go to what 3d now we are see it is our expected our connection in this way we are create a very easily in this connection exceptional connection and now we are apply this connection before we add this create this connection now modify apply okay now we are go to it now we are create this now almost it will be half past and in this way we are easily create this any any connection any type of connection manually it is a very effective uh, tutorial